The history of the Arabian horse is one of magic and mystery, even dating back to the Prophet Muhammad, who decreed that this breed must be treated with kindness and respect. The legend says his five most loyal mares were the predecessors of the breed we know today. Here in the Midwest, Fleck Arabians has fast become one of the leading farms where Arabians are bred, born, and raised and trained until they are ready to be sold. In keeping with the Arabian's reputation as a horse of the elite, many of the horses here at Fleck Farms were sired by a stallion named Solstice, once owned by the designer Gucci. While impressive, that's not the main thing that makes them so special. It's the Arabian personality. They're, they're very passionate um, and they, they want attention. You know, they like to see you, they are inquisitive. They like to be held and snuggled, kind of. So, you know, that's, that's awfully nice to have that feedback where you don't always get that with other breeds of horses. It was actually the ancient Bedouins in the Middle East who valued these horses so much, they raised the foals with their children and they kept the mares in their tents at night. Experts actually believe that this helped genetically alter these horses to become among the friendliest of breeds out there. All disciplines use this horse now from Western to English, dressage, hunter jumpers, and many are national showing champions. And then of course, there is the celebrated racehorse. Arabians are widely accepted as the breed known for their formidable endurance and stamina, believed to have been cultivated and evolved from desert conditions. Note the larger nostrils, able to take wind and air in more efficiently, and their unique attachment of the neck to the head as an arch, all allowing for greater lung capacity. But their bodies set them apart from other breeds as well. They have one less vertebra in their back than any other breed. They have one less set of ribs, and so they're usually a more compact horse that can carry a heavier weight. So it makes them pretty ideal as far as a, um, an endurance horse, to be able to go long distances and carry heavy weights, or not, and, and uh, do it successfully. But for those who breed, ride, and love Arabians today, the defining factor has to do with the unique bond that they form with these horses. It's an amazingly reciprocal relationship. I in truly enjoy the feeling that I get with them when it becomes like a oneness. When you work the horse and you can literally think what you want them to do. Like if you're walking and you want them to trot or do, and they know what you want them to do and you don't, you think it instead of always asking it. Caroline Thaw, Pet Pals TV. And I actually got the opportunity to ride an Arabian last week and it was so much fun, so special, so sweet that I'm gonna keep doing this for a while. So I will check in with you in a couple months and tell you what it's like <laughs> to be with the Arabians. Oh, wow, wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful horse. I still have trouble getting on. Remember in, in uh, when we were kids, oh, you're not old enough, you sit on the little horses and you put a dime in? 